Hello and good morning, Morris class. Welcome to your Monday English lesson. It is the last week today and then we will be back in school um, safely, of course. Today is the 1st of March 2021. Our learning objective is, can I retell the second part of the story map? Okay, for this lesson, you will need magnet eyes and good listening ears. You do not need a pen or paper or whiteboard or whiteboard pen for this lesson. Okay, we are going to start by retelling the first part of our story map. So, this part right here, we had a go at writing it yesterday, so we should be experts. So, let's stop share and let's begin. Okie dokie, I'm ready. <clears throat> if I look this way, it's because I'm looking at my script. Okay, Katie and the sunflowers. So, we're doing this part right here. Okay, grandma was helping Katie plant some seeds in the garden when it started to rain. The rain will make everything grow, said. Who is it? Ah, said grandma, right. Let's start, let's start that sentence again. The rain will make everything grow, said grandma, excitedly. Oh, delightedly, delightedly. This is not going well. Let's start again. Okay, I'm going to, I promise I won't mess up this time. Okay, Katie and the sunflowers. Grandma was helping Katie plant some sunflowers in the garden when it started to rain. The rain will make everything grow, said Grandma, delightedly. What shall we do now, said Katie. Grandma, who loved art, suggested that they go to an art gallery. Well done, Morris class. Now, in this lesson, we are going to be learning this bit. So this bit right here, let's bring you close, up nice and close. We'll be learning this bit for our lesson today. All you're doing is you're going to be learning the second part. OK, if you would like to perform it and put it onto tapestry, you can or you can wait until we've learned the entire story map and then perform it in one go and put it onto tapestry. I think I would prefer that way rather than seeing chunks. I would like to see the whole end product. OK, let's begin. Righty ho. So my arrow is not working again. Nope. So let's learn the second part. Oops. Oopsie daisy. So the second part is, I'm just going to read it out first, okay? And let me stop share. So, when Katie, when they arrived, Katie curiously went off to explore the vast, so this is a sign for vast or big art gallery, um, and found a painting by Vincent van Gogh. Uh, called sunflowers. All stops. It's quite a long sentence. So when they arrived, Katie curiously went off to explore the vast art gallery and found a painting by Vincent, by Vincent van Gogh. I don't know the actions yet. Bear with me. Called sunflowers. The sunflowers looked dry, crunchy, and full of seeds. Perhaps we could grow the seeds in the garden, said Katie. OK, so this is what we're going to be learning. We are going to be learning four sentences, OK? Four sentences. And you can see the full stops there after each sentence. Okie dokie. Let's get going. So stop share. Nice and big. OK, so this part. Over here. I'm now I'm making this up. You can choose your own actions at home. It's entirely up to you. So when they arrived, so I'm going to do when they arrived or actually bear with me, bear with me. OK, I'm so sorry about that, Morris class. I had to pause it there. I couldn't find the sign for arrived, so I'll just make it up. OK, so this part when they arrived. Katie curiously went off to explore the vast art gallery and found a painting by 
Vincent, V for Vincent, and G for Goch. Goch. Vincent van Gogh called sunflowers. Okay. The sun, oh wait, hang on. The sunflowers looked dry and crunchy, full of seeds. Okay. Perhaps I could grow the seeds in the garden, said Katie. Okie dokie, Morris class. Let's put that all together. And as you can tell from this video, I am also learning it with you as we go through. So, first part, up to here. When they arrived, so, when they arrived, Katie curiously went off to explore the vast art gallery and found a painting by Vincent van Gogh called Sunflowers. Okay, so we're up to here now. Let's do the first two sentences again. So, when they arrived, Katie curiously went off to explore the vast art gallery and found a painting by Vincent van Gogh called The Sunflowers. Okie dokie, next part. The sunflowers, the sunflowers looked dry and crunchy and full of seeds. So when you do seeds, make it a bit small, go seeds. Okay? And then, perhaps I could grow the seeds in the garden, said Katie. Okay, let's do it. Let's do the last two sentences again. So, the sunflowers looked dry and crunchy and full of seeds. Perhaps I could grow the seeds in my garden, said Kate. Oh, said Katie. Okay, let's put that all together now. Right. So, when they arrived, Katie curiously went off to explore the vast art gallery and found a painting by Vincent van Gogh called The Sunflowers. The sunflowers looked dry and crunchy and full of seeds. Perhaps I could grow I could grow the seeds in the garden, said Katie. Okie dokie, Morris class. Shall we try that one more time? Well, we're getting really good at this. Okay, let's try it. So, from this part right here. When they arrived, Katie curiously went off to explore the vast art gallery and found a painting by Vincent van Gogh called The Sunflowers. The sunflowers looked dry and crunchy, full of seeds. Perhaps I could grow the seeds in the garden, said Katie. Well done, Morris class. Thank you so much for completing that with me. Now, you might have to go over this and practice this a couple of times, okay, before you become an expert. So keep reminding and keep practicing and I will be too. In tomorrow's lesson, we will be learning the third part, which is this part right here. Okay, Morris class, keep practicing. And remember, you don't have to upload onto Tapestry. We'll upload your whole story map right at the end. Have fun, take care, and bye-bye.